Hey guys, I'm uh, chilling outside the hotel right now and the show just got over and I wanted to go over some of the stuff that I noticed. I mean, first off, let's just say that uh, the biomeds from Florida have been absolutely fantastic. The show was a huge success and I would say the turnout is much, much greater than I was expecting. With that being said, the vendors. I had three possible negative experiences. And why should you ever have like an awkward or a negative experience when you visit a booth? One of those experiences I caught on camera and I was thinking I should just edit it out. But it's like, no, nah, I'm gonna leave that in there. It was an uncomfortable situation where somebody asked me, why are you recording? And it's like, well, that was awkward. But, uh, you know, especially when I'm, I'll explain who I am and what I do, that's no problem. But to be confrontational like that, it's, it was just incredibly awkward. But the, uh, the vendors have another problem that I'd like to talk about. You know, every vendor sets stuff out in front of them on the table. And, you know, it's, it's free stuff. Like, you can go up and grab it and whatnot. And I usually don't, you know, because I leave that for the other biomeds and whatnot. But if I see something that's really cool, uh, I usually want to go up and, you know, explore what really cool stuff is on the countertop. Well, I had two situations where the vendors, they do this thing where they have stuff sitting out on the table in front of them. And then there's like a row of people kind of standing with their, their arms crossed behind the table and they're just kind of staring at you when you walk up to the table and grab something off the table. One of which I just got through recording, um, I'm not going to say the vendor's name, but I just got through recording and uh, I was walking by without my camera in my hands and my hands were shaking really bad. So I walked up and I grabbed a squishy football, you know, because whenever like you hold on to something for like a half hour really tight. Uh, you, you know, you get muscle fatigue and stuff, and the best way to work that out is, you know, get something squishy and just work it out. But what happened was I walked up and I grabbed uh, this this thing, and I was squishing it, and all the people that were behind the booth were just kind of staring at me like, what are you doing? You know, and it, it was an awkward, awkward situation. From there, I, I was the one that broke the ice, and I was the one that said who I am, what I do, and, you know, my business goals. I was in your booth. Why am I the one breaking the ice at your booth? And this happened a second time. Uh, the second time was this morning and I walked up and you know, I introduced myself and whatnot and it was, it was one of those awkward moments, you know? It was like, hey, uh, my name's Justin, you know, such and such wanted to talk to me. Uh, and I, you know, I had the evidence of that on my phone and just the exchange, like the people just kind of stared at me, you know, they, they weren't very bubbly you know I get it you know these type of events are nice and everything and it's kind of like a vacation but it's not this is the business guys and you know maybe some of these companies need to think about who's behind the, their booth and the reason I say that is just because you've always gone to these things doesn't mean you're the right person for the job you need to be kind of bubbly outgoing very outgoing you should be breaking the ice with every person that walks up to your booth not the opposite way around so guys i'm just saying this that these type of events they are not they're not a vacation all right this is the business and you can make or break with first impressions and i had several experiences where i was like it was awkward and i i you know some companies have this trend but if somebody walks up and looks at anything on your table you know, they should be asking you, hey, how's it going? What hospital do you work for? What, what, what's your company? You know, hey, you know, we do this or we do that. Uh, you ever deal with those? You know, there's lots of ways to break the ice. But these companies just don't have the right people behind the booth. And it leads for, like, awkward silences and these awkward moments. And they're not the right people for the booth. They just aren't. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you watch this video and you say differently. I have talked to other people and other people have told me, which is why I'm making this video, uh, that there are some, some booths were just awkward to walk up to. And what I'm saying is it should never be that way because it leaves a bad impression on the event. And some of those people might not ever come to an event again if they get even one of those bad experiences. 
So guys, uh, make sure you have the right people, outgoing, happy people representing your company at your booth because I personally had several bad experiences and these are not with competing companies. I mean, I'm good friends with competing companies, so it's not that, it's just not the right people. Anyway, see you guys next time.